family like as far as um what are you doing now? You have a single out called Addiction. Yes, yes, absolutely. I, I kind of want to know, like, that track. Like, how did that come about? Because the sound is, I, I like the sound of it. It's, it's not the usual sound that you would probably hear, especially coming out of Cyclone that I've heard. And I like the track. So let's kind of talk about, you know, who's who's the, who's behind the track and what, are, what were your thoughts, you know what I'm saying, when you were writing uh, that song. Um, with addiction, um, so for anyone who's, you know, doesn't, well, you're just now getting to know me. Um, I'm Trinidadian. My mom's from Trinidad and Tobago. And I really wanted a song that represented that culture. Um, in the project I'm working on right now, it's telling a story. And the part that addiction fits in is basically talking about being addicted to a memory, being addicted to somebody that you said, I don't want to be with anymore. But in the end, you keep falling back with that person. You keep falling in love with that person. And so the character in this story, when I was starting to, when I, when I started writing it, was basically, he had just dealt with rejection. He said, I'm moving on from this person. But the memory of the infatuation and the lust for that person is overtaking him. And that's where addiction comes in. Okay, so is this, this, is, this is a true song, true it story? It is a true story. Okay. It is a true story. Okay. Um, basically, uh, I went to a depression after my sister passed away in 2016. And I went through this, mo this moment of I was addicted to memory. I was addicted to, a, to you know, just things that weren't really good for me. Okay. And so... I want to talk about that in song form. Like, I'm addicted not to a specific person, but to just darkness and just things, just self destruction. Okay. Okay. Who who produced the track? Um, the track was initially produced by the Legion, and then when I got when I got the instrumental, it was produced by um, my mentor Andre Armager and his wife Miss Mahogany in Beaufort, South Carolina. They helped me cultivate the song, you really get the vocals down. And that was one of the longest songs I actually had to process. Like, okay. it, I, what I thought was going to be a week, a day, it literally took me about two months. Two months? Two wow. months. Wow. So how, how is it like working with your team? You know, I mean, let's, let's, let's talk about your team and who's on your team. Um, I have my vocal, my vocal producer and my, my music producer, the Armagers, Miss Mahogany and Andre, and they really mentor me in how I'm supposed to do music business, how I'm supposed to handle business, and it's fun when we work together. It's like it's not a stressful process. It's not a oh, it's strictly business. Like we laugh, we joke, we have fun. We we take a moment before we even start to pray and to meditate and to really clear out anything that we're dealing with. Because what people don't understand is when we record, everything that you have on your brain, it hinders you from actually giving your best. And so you really want to just expel the negativity as soon as you enter the door so that you can give your best performance and your best track. Okay. 